What's up YouTube? It is NoJC1 and I am uploading another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. I found this guy on TPX. Um sorry if you hear any noise in the background, it's my brother, he's watching TV in um the other room. But um so he leads with the Heatran and I lead off with my Ferrothorn. Um of course I leave with Ferrothorn just to get up some South Rocks, but I predict him to over predict and not go for the fire moves so I decide to stay in he ends up going for the hidden power I'm guessing grass and I get up free my free rocks so now I'm feeling good and now that I got my rocks up I decide to switch on to my special wall which is my jelly my jello which is the jello set and now he goes for the overheat which is sort of weird never seen that on a heat train but okay and the overheat does nothing literally and now I get my leftovers so this whole battle basically was trying to predict what would happen and he stays in and goes for the stealth rocks and I over predicted him I over predicted and went for the will o -Wisp, but he didn't switch out so now he got his flash fire boost, but I'm not really scared because he's at minus two special attack from his earlier overheat. Now he finally decides to switch out and he goes into his Gastrodon. I think I went for the will o -Wisp again, predicting him to switch. And uh, the Gastrodon is now burned, which can be helpful because it can help me um, slowly take it down, which even though I'm pretty sure they get recovered. So, since I really can't do anything to a Gastrodon, because I'm pretty sure it's Storm Drain, I decide to switch out and go back into my Ferrothorn to resist the um, any of his moves. And I also predicted the Toxic, which is another reason why I went into this, because I need my Jellicent for later to take out the Heatran. He switches out his Gastrodon and goes into his Fortress, I believe. And Fortress... Um, Sturdy is broken. I predicted him to switch out, so I switch out too. And I go into my Snuggles, which is my Terrakion. So, he, my Snuggles takes like no damage because um, I resist the Stealth Rocks and he gets leftovers. I'm trying to keep him away from Sturdy, but I really was not thinking here. And I forgot that he had leftovers, and even if I was able to kill him off here with a close combat, he would have sturdy, so I wouldn't be able to kill him. He hits me with the earthquake and it does a huge chunk of damage. But since fortress aren't really physical or attackers at all, it does very crappy damage. Now I go into my jello after just wasting a turn with my Terrakion and wasting HP to take the earthquake and the fortress this earthquake actually does a very big chunk of damage I thought for fortress that did a lot of damage even though I'm not physical I have a lot of um, HP but since I see it keeps going for earthquakes I decide just to will o -wisp it and this thing ter carries the toxic so I was like screaming and ripping my hair out at this point because I've never seen a fortress with toxic on it and now since my Jellicent is toxic, it's going to make, make it harder for me to stall out his team or get um, my HP up. So now I predicted him to switch out. I went for the Ice Beam. And Ice Beam, of course, is not very effective. And he gets up his one layer of spikes. So I have up my Stealth Rocks and he has up Stealth Rocks and one layer of spikes. So here I believe... Uh, now he gets his leftovers. I believe here I go for the surf. And as you can see, the toxic is doing a lot more than my um leftovers. But yeah, like I said, here I go for the surf and the surf does a very big chunk of damage, but he lives. And now he gets up his second layer of spike. So I'm sort of worried that if I send in Terrakion, he might not be able to live. And his fortress now gets leftovers. There's a lot of end game intern um, statuses going on. Uh, he gets hurt with burn, and Toxic did a lot to me. 
So I switch out because the toxic damage is becoming too much. And I go out to my swag, the glide score. And I think he got up his third layer of spike. So I was thinking that Terrakion's basically out now because if I send him out, he's going to die from hazards, entry hazards. And I believe here I just take the time to set up a swords dance because eventually this thing will die of, um, it will die from burn because burn does more than leftovers. So I just get up a free swords dance and decide to get my attack boosted. But I thought he would carry the explosion as his last move, but it turns out he carries the rapid spin. So maybe it was a good idea to stay in with. I'm jealous it, but it's too late now. Um, his fortress dies now from the burn. So I'm at plus two attack, and he goes into his gastrodon. I protect. I protect. My bad. I protect just to get as much damage off on this thing as possible because I know if it's max HP and max defense, they it probably will be able to take this hit because I'm not max attack. So now I go for the plus two stab earthquake and it actually takes out the gastrodon. I was afraid that it wouldn't, but it take it it takes it out. So now I'm looking good here and he goes out into his heatran. Um and I was hoping I was gonna outspeed it, but he told me it's timid and it hits me with the overheat and it does a lot. Of damage a lot and I barely survive and then I hit him with the earthquake thinking he would be maybe focus sashed but he's not and he just goes down so now Gliscor has his two kills so I was fine with him dying because he did what I needed him to do he got two threats out of the way now he goes into his Cerebi the um, Celebi, and this right here was just mind games. I didn't know what to do. Um, he predicted me to protect, so I went for the Ice Fang, predicting him to predict that. I know it's a little confusing, but, and now he has plus two. And here I protect, but he makes a very risky move and goes for another sword stance, predicting to protect. So, I was sort of scared here that I might get swept by Celebi because they carry the Sucker Punch, which is priority. So, he goes for the Seed Bomb and takes me out. And, of course, I'm not going to live a plus four Stab Seed Bomb. And Swag is down, but it's okay because he got done everything I needed him to get done. And here, I believe I go into my real steal, the Scizor, because I resist all of this thing's Stab moves. So, and I resist the Sucker Punch, so I wasn't really afraid. Spikes and um, Stealth Rocks actually do a lot. And I get hit with the plus four Sucker Punch. And I was like, oh, that's a crit. That's terrible. And then, turns out, that wasn't a crit. That thing was Life Orbed, so it just does a crap ton of damage. And I hit it with the Bullet Punch. And my real steal is Choice Banded, by the way. He goes out to the Rankarusu, the Reuniclus, and I just go for a bullet punch hoping that he would um, kill me. And my choice bandit on um, bullet punch actually does a lot of damage. And he hits me with a shadow ball and of course I'm gonna die. So now he gets his leftovers and I go out into my Porygon Z, my choice card Porygon Z. And raised. I believe I go for the tri attack. I'm not sure. Yeah, I go for the tri attack. And I have adaptability. So adaptability plus stab is most likely going to kill, and it does. So I got another big threat out of the way. I'm getting all of his bulky Pokemon out of the way. He goes now into his Tyranitar. And since I'm Choice Scarfed, I'm basically forced to switch out. So, I had to play this right at the end or I would lose this battle. I go out into Torn to take whatever hit he's going to do or predicting the superpower. 
I want to get as much recoil off on him as possible. And he goes for the fire punch. And since he was, if I would have stayed in, he would have went for the fire punch on Porygon Z. As you see, it's iron barbs and rocky helmet, so it does a decent chunk. Um, he went for the Porygon, uh, he went for the fire punch on the Porygon Z. I was thinking he was choice scarfed, maybe, jolly choice scarfed, because I see a lot of those. That's why he stayed in. I mean, not stayed in. That's why he went for the fire punch. So I send back in rage. I get her by stealth rocks and spikes, and I just go for the ice beam because I think this will do the most damage out of all the other moves. And once again, he goes for the fire punch. So I was thinking that he was scarfed. So I was like, oh, this. I lost this. The game's it's done. I go out to Jello to try to get try to test. And see if he's scarfed, but um, Jello just barely lives, and he goes for the fire punch. And so I was like, "Oh yeah, he's scarfed here. He's definitely scarfed." So I was like, "Yes, I got cursed body. He's forced to struggle. I got this game in the bag." So I got into snuggles. But I was like, "Oh crap! Entry hazards, stealth rocks plus spikes." Leaves me barely alive with 3 HP. And it turns out he's not scarfed. I hit him with a close combat to the face. And I win the match with 3 HP. So that was a very, very good game. Um, Against a guy, met off TPX. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, and I will be bringing you guys some more battles, so have a good day.